This is the longest losing streak in esports history. 42 losses in a row, notoriously achieved by the Shanghai Dragons after they went 0-40 in Season 1 of the Overwatch League and lost their first two of the second season. This is akin to the NFL's Detroit Lions going 0-16 in 2008, and fun fact, they also lost their first two regular season games in 2009. Look, slumps happen, but this was a team that started at the bottom due to a litany of issues and stayed there for a very, very long time. They were so bad that even the signing of Gregory, the first woman to play in the Overwatch League, was overshadowed by their losing streak. But suddenly, just after the start of Season 2, the Boston Uprising made a trade to Shanghai that not even the player, the top tier Gamsu, knew about. And it all helped lead to a little bit of payback, the Dragons' first win, and a brighter future for the team. To catch you up, when the Overwatch League launched in 2018, it was a big deal. The buy-in to even get a spot was in the tens of millions, with backing from big traditional sports groups like the Cronkies, who owned the Los Angeles Rams and Denver Nuggets, and Crafts, who owned the New England Patriots. Activision Blizzard pushed very hard and very publicly to get the OWL into the mainstream, specifically with teams having a home city. When we created Overwatch at Blizzard, it was always with the expectation that we would be able to celebrate and recognize our players in a way that would be consistent with traditional sports. That's why you have names like the Atlanta Reign, London Spitfire, Seoul Dynasty, and of course, the Shanghai Dragons. Across the Pacific, the city of Shanghai will have its own team under NetEase. And maybe that's why this makes the losing streak that much harder to swallow. Shanghai will forever be linked to the longest losing streak in esports history. If you're a traditional sports fan and you've seen your team go through a few back-to-back -back rebuilding seasons, you know how hard it can be to be a fan sometimes. But this was their first season, which was split into four stages where the teams will play 10 games per stage with a minimum of four maps per game. Fans didn't know it yet, but it was set to be a long season if you were rooting for Shanghai. The Shanghai Dragons! We know there's a lot of talent on this team. It's time to get this party started. On January 10th, 2018, the Dragons debuted against the hometown Los Angeles Gladiators. This squad went 0-2 in the preseason, but they said they didn't have much, if any, time to prepare as a squad. They've been coming in here at 9 in the morning every single day, staying until after midnight. They scrimped against every team, according to them. The starters, Dia, Roshan, Five King, Undead, Altering, Free Feel, and Zushu, weren't bad players. Dia was especially hyped as a proficient DPS specialist. Suffice to say, no one on the Dragons who started that day play in the OWL anymore. Still, there were some bright spots. Twice the Dragons went to overtime in the early days, once against the Philadelphia Fusion and another versus Dallas Fuel. Up again, Shadowbird lurking on high, comes in with the Dragon Blade, gets onto Undead, can he get the kill? He can, gets the heals he needs to too. There's the reflect, and, and we're into overtime, that may be it. Can they take down Dia? Dia the last man standing on Shanghai. Overtime ticking away, can they get anyone there in time? Yeah, Roshan there, but he falls instantly. And that is it. Philadelphia Fusion will be taken to the limit, but will still take the win. Dia. Ooh, very sneaky coming from way up there. Roshan's gone, and so is Free Feel, so. Oh! Trying to get the kill onto uh, Chips, but couldn't do it. Taken out himself. Altering, just gonna go ahead and reset there. There it is, overtime, undead taken out. There goes Altering Taimu with a clutch kill onto the Shanghai Dragon's Mercy. Oh, and the barrage from Dia isn't enough to turn it around. Without the Mercy, it seems impossible. They've nearly got Dia, who's over on the Doomfist now, and that may be it. After Free Feel falls, once more, Shanghai will fail to get a win in the Overwatch League. Dallas comes out on top. But Shanghai ended the first stage 0-10 with a negative 30 map differential. Stage 2 wasn't that different, but just before that part of the season kicked off, Shanghai made a huge announcement. Gregory rose to fame in South Korea for being good. Very, very good. She was so good that she was accused of cheating when she was 16 while playing for a team called UW Utterson. Players started publicly calling her out for hacking, so she participated in a live stream to clear her name in which she trounced the competition. So much so that two of the accusers left the scene entirely 
out of shame. So it was only a matter of time before people started asking when Gregory would be brought on to an OWL team. On February 6th, 2018, ESPN Esports reported that the Dragons were set to pick her up, and on February 13th, the team confirmed that she had been signed. Unfortunately, despite her skill and other roster moves made by the Dragons, the team just couldn't find a win in Stage 2. There it is, wings are out, so he's just guaranteeing that his teammates are going to get all the heals, all the damage. Hagopun gets his trance as well. No joy here for the Dragons as everybody gets topped right back up again for London Spitfire. And London will throw out the victory tire. It's been a good year for them. They will go up 3-0 to zero and officially win the set. Or Stage 3. And the Shanghai Dragons, today is not your day. That'll be Philadelphia getting the forum. Heartbreaking loss. Seems like the story of the Shanghai season. Close, but no cigar. And no wins in Stage 4 either. The Shanghai Dragons are 0 and 40 in the season. That much desired victory will have to wait. With communication issues across Korean and Chinese players and a lack of morale, the Shanghai Dragons ended the season 0-40, with a map record of 21 wins, 2 ties, and 141 losses, creating a map differential of negative 120. The next worst team with that stat was the Florida Mayhem at minus 78. Fast forward to the start of Season 2. It was a new year for the Dragons with a revamped roster that featured many from South Korea's Kongju Pantera. And then suddenly, on February 12th, 2019, two days before the second season was about to kick off, the Boston Uprising tweeted out that Gamsu had been traded to Shanghai, something he says he wasn't even aware of until the day of. Gamsu is a multi-talented esports pro. He started in League of Legends in 2013 and played with teams like South Korea's Samsung Galaxy Blue and Europe's Fnatic before transitioning to Overwatch in 2016. When the Overwatch League came to fruition, the Boston Uprising picked him up and Gamsu established himself as a reliable tank player, though he admits he was burned out by the end of the first season. Still, when the trade came through, people kind of scratched their heads, yet in the grand scheme of things, this was a good pickup for the Dragons. Shanghai's season opener was against the Hangzhou Spark, a match they dropped 3-1 to tack on another loss. Landing for an opportunity, he's nearly got his owner shattered, but he's down to sub-100 health. Oh, that was close. Shanghai Dragons trying to use what they've got to stay alive, but Ding jumping in the middle by himself. I don't know how well that works. No kills out of that. And look at this, Diem so charged up, doing so much damage on that Zarya. Is it going to be enough? They'll get stunned. Another shatter comes in from Gu Shui, and Diem finally falls Shanghai. They nearly got it to the end of B, but they need to push it just a little bit farther, and Spark doesn't want to let him. They're getting the kills, and Shanghai came so close, but they couldn't quite finish B. That was a great defense by Spark. Gamsu debuted the next match on February 16th against the near-unstoppable Vancouver Titans, who only dropped three games the entire regular season, and the Dragons jumped to 0-42. All right, speed boosting across. They work their way up. Twilight getting rid of that pesky turret. Takes that one away from Young Jin, who's up over the top. DM taking some shots. Slime goes up, gets a boop. Gamsu gonna be taken down as Hawksville finds the kill. Now Twilight sniping out the Torb. He's been taken out. Luffy look, gonna be gone. Gagory now eliminated. And that will just be it. The one tick, all that they need. Vancouver Titans take Temple of Anubis. They take this series 3-0. One more map to be played, but Shanghai Dragon's gonna have to wait for another day to get that win. But the next match? That was against Boston. The Shanghai Dragons acquired Gamsu from the Uprising. With Gamsu and the pickups that we did, there were definitely times where we were on the fence. Saying goodbye to a player that you've been with for a year is always gonna be a, a little bit emotional, uh, depending how that player was within the team. You know, it can get worse or better. To get this win, Shanghai was going to have to fight tooth and nail. Joining Gamsu was Gregory for the first game, a map where both tank players stepped up to help take a 1-0 map lead. There's no way that Boston could crack this open, barring a huge mistake. They're gonna open with a sound barrier to touch the point. Sound barrier is out, aim god, I'm taking some fire here. Nice his way back, no, nope. oh. onto the point. Does have the self-destruct, will have to use it to get back into the mech. Not gonna be able to find any kills, Gamsu's here. They push back, primal rage out, bomb. Not gonna get anything for Gregory, but she makes it back though. Looking for the knock -bomb. Welcome to the Overwatch League! Say goodnight! He goes off the side! Axiom now gonna get dropped, and the Shanghai Dragons are slaughtering Boston Uprising! They will take Ruins! They will take Ilios and kick things off for the win! Not even close!
this year. Absolute better old economy coming out from the Dragons. Gamsu looks like a real leader tonight. The second map also went Shanghai's way after Gregory was subbed out for Youngjin so the Dragons could run the flex tank for Jeet. The substitution ended up paying off in a nail-biting map too. You hear the audience here, let's go Dragons! Looking for that 2-0 start in the series. Halfway to that tick already right uh -oh. now. Axiom taken down! The up gets the double kill! Plus ain't gonna be eliminated as well! The Gargoyle Surge comes in! Will be taken out! EMP dumps in by Ding to try to turn things around! And it is gonna work a treat! No popped out, eliminated, the tick comes through, and Shanghai Dragons lead the series 2-0! No answer to the EMPs, Boston struggling to deal with Ding, and unfortunately it's just not enough, and we are closer than we have ever been to Shanghai Dragons getting a match win. One more win is all that they need, a closeout on Assault will give this team the first win in the history of their organization. And finally, on map three, the Shanghai Dragons scrapped again with Boston to finally earn their first win. Ding up top, and he's spraying away. Color Hex going oh so low. They had hacked him out, might have been able to get it. Now he's gonna be isolated, Gumsu goes low. They haven't finished on the Zarya, but he's gonna hack it on the Axiom. Ding, they're all they put the out. They're all down the on the point, starting to take their way up. The first one getting ready to come through. And it comes down, Youngjin saying alive, Kellex knocked out a half HP, the first tick, gonna be gained. You can feel it. Almost there, pushing from the back, they're ticking up again. No, it's gonna be hacked, he's gonna be taken out of the mech, finished off. It's happening. This could be it, the second tick, getting ready to come through. Kellex gonna be eliminated. Transcendence is out from Aim God, but it's gonna expire. They will be able to finish him up. There you go. They're gonna get it, just a couple more percent to go. Let them have it, Boston. Axiom, pop of the primal rage, but it does not matter. While there is still one more map to play, no one really cared. Shanghai had done it, and everyone was a Dragons fan that day. They had broken the curse with the help of Gregory and Gamsu, with Gamsu exacting a poetic note of revenge against his former squad. Well, every time that we win, um, I am very happy, but this one is a bit more special because we I just beat uh, my former team, Boston Uprising, and I feel like we could really keep this momentum going. Thank you guys so much. Alrighty, that's it, everybody. Give it for Shanghai Dragons. From there, Shanghai moved forward. They finished stage one, three and four with only a minus four map differential. But in season four, Shanghai took home the big one the Overwatch League Championship. The Shanghai Dragons are your 2021 Overwatch League Champions! It may have taken a while. There was a lot of trial and error, bumps and bruises, and while the 0-142 record will always be part of their legacy, it's no longer the only part, and the fans who kept the faith have been rewarded.